everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rebecca Keppel. If you're like me and you've done Traveler's Notebook scrapbooking before, you may have been frustrated by the staples in the center or how you couldn't get the notebook to lay flat. I have been on the hunt for a good album to use for my Traveler's Notebooks instead of using a stapled insert. I found some on the Citrus Twist Kits site and decided to give a couple a try. The great news is that these albums are awesome quality and the colors are absolutely gorgeous. This video is part of the support small paper crafting businesses. The rest of the videos in this series are linked here. I am in no way affiliated with Citrus Twist. I just really love this product and I wanted to share it with you all. But what if you're telling me right now, I already have a ton of those notebook inserts and I don't wanna just get rid of them. That's okay. They are very easy to convert to this album format. I'll show you what I mean. Let me first show you both of the albums that I bought. I bought flamingo and turquoise and then some additional page protectors to go inside them as well. This is the flamingo album. It already comes with 15 page protectors inside. They are four and a quarter by eight and a half, same size as the ones that I bought in the pack as well. And you can see that there are six rings that bind the album together. They are very easy to open and close just like a typical ring bound album. The fabric outside is beautiful and the book plates are really nice touch on the outside spine as well. So this is the turquoise one. And again, it's got the 15 page protectors inside. And when you lay this album flat, you can see that you'd be able to see both sides of the spread flat on your table. So I really like that about these albums and it makes working in the Traveler's Notebook size a lot easier than the stapled inserts. Citrus Twist also threw in a few die cuts and a little note card into my order. So let me show you how I'm going to deal with this traditional traveler's notebook insert. I couldn't find my staple remover, so I'm using this brad setter to open up the wings of the staple and press them down, and then I'm just going to pop the staples out. Then I'm going to put them in a paper trimmer and I'm going to trim them right down the center so that they should be four and a quarter by eight and a half. A couple of times I had to trim off the sides a little. I didn't get it perfectly in the middle and they wouldn't fit in the page protectors unless they were exactly the right size, of course. So now I can just slip them in. The great thing about this is that I can put them in any order that I want. Some of the pages are double-sided where you need both of them together in order Order to get the idea of the page but lots of them are single-sided another great thing about doing the traveler's notebooks this way is it's much easier to stamp on because you can stamp on a flat surface here is the cover from the traveler's notebook that I'm using this notebook is an insert from studio calico and I'm also using some uh, alpha stickers from them as well. And again, just having everything flat on your work surface makes it so much easier to put the stickers on, to journal, to adhere your photos down. And I am just going to put together a few spreads just to show you how easy it is and then how nice they look once they are in the album and flat next to each other. The other great thing about this is you can adhere two pieces of paper together so that the stamping doesn't leak through to the other side. So you can see how I did that here. And those two pieces of paper fit perfectly inside the page protector. Okay, now I'm going to work on a, another spread here and I am using three by four prints and four by eight and a quarter prints from Persnickety Prints, my favorite place to print photos for Traveler's Notebook scrapbooking. You can see that I am using some embellishments. These are from Studio Calco. They are chipboard stickers, and there is plenty of room within these page protectors to layer up both paper, chipboard stickers, you could put buttons, whatever you like to use as far as embellishments. It fits perfectly inside the page protector. There's enough room and enough give that you can even have a chipboard sticker on one page and then another page adhered down with a chipboard sticker on the other side, as you can see I had there. The other great thing about using the albums this way is that you can take things out and move them around. Once you adhere things down in your notebook, you're kind of stuck with the order that they go in. 
But with these albums, you simply open up the rings and pull them out or just take the paper out of the page protectors and move them around. And I really love that option because, you know, when I find a notebook that I like, sometimes I'm looking at one of the pages and I'm like, eh, I really wish that weren't there because the spread that I'm about to do doesn't really fit with that. So here I had to move things around because the spread I wanted to do had to do with uh, greenery in a backyard and the page that I was on was a darker color. So I just move things around. And again, as you can see here, I have both sides of the papers down on my work surface. And that makes it really easy to design two sides that are a cohesive look together. When sometimes you have the notebook and it's flipping flopping and it's opening and closing and you can't get it to stay down, it's much harder to design the page and get it to how you really, really want it to look so that everything kind of flows across both pages. So I really like designing the pages this way, having them both down flat so that I can see where everything is going to go and it makes it a lot easier to create your visual triangles of say uh, the tags or the reds or whatever it is. So now I am just going to journal on some, it's a sticker that I adhered down there and that keeps the Sharpie from leaking through to the other side. But again, I could just adhere a piece of paper on the back of it and adhere everything down and then put it in the page protector and then you hide all of that journaling, which unfortunately with a notebook, you're kind of stuck using a certain type of pen. I love journaling with Sharpies, so this is a really great option for me. I also like how you can take those papers out. You could do some typewritten journaling if you wanted to. There's just so many more options. So here's the other spread that I wanted to share with you. And again, I don't think in the notebook these two papers were facing each other. I just really liked the way that the dark blue looked with the rainbow. And I was talking about being in San Francisco during Pride Month with my daughter last year. And so I definitely wanted the rainbow page there, but I really liked the way the dark blue looked on that hand side with the photo and then the rainbow sticker from Ellie's studio. Another thing that I do like is here I am adhering letter stickers down uh, vertically up the side of the spread there. And with a clear sticker backing, I was able to move it around on the flat surface of the paper to figure out exactly where I wanted it. And then again, once everything's done, you just slip it in and look at how nice it looks when it's flat like that. I just, that makes me so happy to see my notebook open with the spreads like that. Here again, I am going to do some journaling on a journaling card. This is the one that uh, Citrus Twist threw into my order with a little thank you note on the back. So I thought I'd use it in this spread here, which is just so nice of them to include some free die cuts. This adhesive that I'm using right now, this is my favorite adhesive. I've been out of it for a little bit and with uh, the COVID not sh people not shipping and stuff, it's from Thermoweb. I'm gonna link it in the description below, but I just wanted you to know that this is my favorite adhesive for working with Traveler's Notebooks because it's both small, it's easy to refill, and it sticks. Once you really stick it down, it's, it's staying there for sure. So I really like that. Again, even if I have one side done, I'll put the other side kind of next to it while I'm working on it just to make sure that I am using some of the same imagery from the left-hand side as the right, same colors, keeping everything really cohesive and that makes your notebook flow really beautifully. So, and then when I do something on the right and I realize, oh, I wanna add it to the left, it's as easy as pulling it out of the page protector there and doing a little bit of stamping. Again, so much easier to do on a flat surface than in a notebook. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that bell so you can be notified when my new videos are available. I wanna thank you so much for stopping by today, and as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon. Great. That's just fantastic. Fantastic. Forgot the microphone, so there was no noise. <laughs> hey, me. Oh, fuck it. Also, you could be notified when Edinburgh might. <laughs>